SMT Nation, we back. Nation, I'm pretty amped up in this video. I'm really disappointed in one of the, the carriers across the country. You got Verizon, you have T-Mobile, and AT&T. All three sell a fixed wireless access 5G home internet you know, service of some sort. And the outcome from the net promoter scores, the, uh, the NPS scores, tell us what customers think about a service. They like it, approve it, recommend it. Do they, you know, keep it? Those types of innuendo within the industry, it, the NPS scores reflect that. And there's one company that really did poorly in the NPS scores, and I'm really disappointed. Like, really disappointed. And I'm not going to tell you guys why and what the outcomes are. It's it's pictured here on the screen as a reference. Sorry, it's blurry. When I pulled the image from the Recon Analytics data on the, the Fierce Wireless story, it just it, it, it wouldn't have clarity. So anyways... I'll be sure to link it for you, the original article, it'll be in the description. And uh, ways to support the SMT in the description as well. Alright folks, so the NPS scores are in for all the fixed wireless providers. You have AT&T, you have T-Mobile, and Verizon. Alright, now they each do it a little bit differently. Verizon has a dedicated QCI QoS expectation for the service. Alright, T-Mobile does not, AT&T does not. T-Mobile's fixed wireless ac access network traffic gets deprioritized all time the time full time same thing with AT&T they got metro in here in the data set because you know T-Mobile does sell it as a metro service but really it's it's all T-Mobile home internet and you know Verizon scored a net promoter of 47 T-Mobile came in at 33 metro came in at 13 that's something i'm kind of just i don't understand how it could be so different when it's the same service but the lowest scoring NPS on fixed wireless access is AT&T I have to tell you guys, I'm extremely disappointed to have the lowest industry net promoter score for the service is really, really bad when you're you're behind Metro, right? And AT&T Fixed Wireless is a postpaid service. Metro's is a prepaid service. So, so what gives? I'm going to go ahead and chalk it up and say it's a relatively new service for AT&T. They probably have to work some of the kinks out, whether it's the gateways or it's the installation process, or it's just the performance and, and you know, I don't know what else it could be. Maybe there's some programming or some activation problems that they've been seeing. I don't know what it is, but the net promoter scores are low. And I can tell you guys from comments in my videos in the past, when I've read them about the AT&T internet error, it's been very mixed. Some folks have said it's been decent, but many are reporting problems or poor performance and the thing about fixed wireless is folks are dying to have a secondary option from whatever expensive cable ISP they have or if it's a DSL transition or satellite substitute whatever that's really poor scores now again like I said it's still a young service it's still new they might have to iron out some of the wrinkles but I would really want to see that NPS score increase from 11 to something substantially better. In fact, I think if it's AT&T's pedigree on the line, you probably want to see it pass Metro pretty soon. And you probably eventually want to pass up T-Mobile as well. Seeing as that T-Mobile does not even have a QCI of any sort on the service, they're basically full deprived all the time. Even free lines, even free lines hotspot data has higher priority than T-Mobile fixed wireless access. So really, I mean, and, and we saw this play out with T-Mobile. Their NPS scores increase over time, right? The first year, the second year, it got better every year. And same thing at Verizon, right? The first year and second year, we see net promoter scores improve dramatically. So I'm hoping to see that from AT&T, but I am disappointed. And I do hold AT&T to a standard of excellence because this is, quote unquote, you know, the they want to be the most premier home broadband provider in the country. AT&T's Internet Air Fixed Wireless Access is part of that portfolio. We got to we got to hold them accountable to this. I bring all the smoke for all the carriers. I don't candy coat, sugar coat anything. I tell it like it is. That is a poor score from AT&T. Uh you know, T-Mobile obviously they've been selling this stuff for a while. I'm it's good to see that they're not last, but AT&T should not be last. Not with the way that this whole service is structured and not the way things should be going at their company. 
right? Seeing that they run a lot of fiber to their own sites and those things. And, you know, it's, it's, it's just not a good look, all right? Verizon reigns supreme on NPS scores. T-Mobile second, AT&T a very distant last place. Disappointment for me, what say you? Did you expect more or are you not surprised by this? I mean, there are a lot of people out here who are second guessing the, you know, the AT&T network and the lack of upgrades to the 5G plus network with C-band and DoD. This may be a symptom of that. We'll see how this plays out. We'll see if they improve, but give me your thoughts and opinions. Welcome down below. You all the voice of the people, the SMT nation. Let your voice be heard.